And now, live from C Nation Studios at Irwin Academy, it's the C Nation Podcast Show! Uh, podcast Show! Hey, welcome back to another Irwin Academy online lesson. I am your host, Mr. C from Irwin Academy, and I have a ukulele. It's actually pronounced ukulele. This is the next lesson, because I know a lot of times my uke players out there, you guys feel left out. Mr. C, what about me? How am I supposed to play this song? How can I do it? Well, guess what? Right now, we are going to piggyback off of lesson one, the electric guitar, and we are going to be playing right there, A-Punk by Vampire Weekend on the ukulele, on the ukulele. All right, so a couple things about the ukulele before we get started with this lesson. All right, your tuning. We talked about this in lesson two. Tune up your instrument before you play because if not, it's not going to sound that great. All right, you have, just like a guitar, you have a fretboard with the neck of the guitar. You have the head, which is the top of the instrument, the tuning machines the strings oh my goodness the body of the instrument this ukulele is not electric there are no electronics on it so can't plug it in anything luckily we have our mic right here and it picks us up just fine okay the tuning for the ukulele um a lot of some of you guys i wrote it on the back just in case that way you don't forget you don't have to waste your time looking it up on your phone or on your computer whatever it's right there for you okay to tune this ukulele the four strings right here at the top we have g here's your g string string closest to your face right after that we have c the second string from your face the c string yes this top string should be a higher pitch than the next string after it okay then it goes back up sorry uh, I'll explain that sound in a minute. Right after that, the third string, oh, no, missed it, is your E. Remember I did the E thing? Yeah, E. All right. And finally, the string closer to the floor is your A string. All right. So G, C, E, A. And I do forget it. I forget and especially when I haven't played ukulele for a while I do forget all right and I have my notes right here the noise that you heard is my phone why because I have a tuner on my phone you can I downloaded this for free a lot of you guys have your cell phones you can get a free tuner this one is called guitar tuna and um, like the tuna fish guitar t-u-n-a all right, this is the one that I use on my phone when I need to tune string instruments. And it's really cool because you can change, like, if I click the gear up on the top, this little screen comes up. The very, very first choice you have is tuning. You hit that, and I have my most recent tunings that I've done before. I have a bass, a four-string bass, and then my guitar. So you can tune different instruments with this app on your phone, okay? They're not sponsoring me or anything. I just, I like this when I don't have a tuner on my instrument and I need to tune quick. Ooh, I can see myself in the reflection. That's cool. All right. It's called Guitar Tuna, T-U-N-A, because it's a guitar tuna. You know what I mean? You got to tune the guitar, you need a guitar tuna. All right. Um, so yeah, I have it set up for ukulele. And when you play the string... Works just like a regular tuner. You know, it's listening to my ukulele, and I need to fix it. There you go. It's a little too far to the screen's left, which means I'm a little flat. So I need to tighten it up a tiny bit. And when you hear the ding, the string's in tune. You can go to the next one, too. And instead of playing it and listening... If you want to practice ear tuning, click the note. It plays what it's supposed to sound like for you. 
all right and it does the same thing for the bass it does the same thing for guitar so guitar tuna check it out it's free I'm pretty sure it's free and let me turn my phone off now all right so vampire weekend a punk yes you can play this on ukulele why not nobody says you can't so the way we're going to start this song is once again just like the guitar lesson we're going to use two fingers all right we're going to start on the fourth fret of your a string the string closest to the ground i don't remember the string name so i have to double check i'm sorry all right fourth fret of the a string fifth fret of your e string there you go it sounds exactly like the guitar part it sounds exactly like the album all right as you can see i'm plucking the strings close to the body with my thumb and my first finger if you want to strum it go right ahead if you want to use your finger and kind of rock star it go right ahead too whatever you're comfortable with okay but we need to do the a string fourth fret and the e string yeah i got it right fifth fret Now, just like the guitar part, we're going to add the next part, our pinky. All right? Our pinky is going to be on the A string, and it's going to be from the 4th fret, 5, 6, 7. For those that have these ukuleles, um, and my 5th grader that has her own ukulele, I don't know if you have the dots on the front, okay? Um, but... On the sides of our ukuleles, we have the dots, just like the guitars. <gasps> Holy moly! You got your fifth fret, seventh. Is it fifth? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, there's a nice big gap right there, but we have five and seven, ten. Okay. All right. Four and five. You're gonna do that two times. Add the pinky on the seventh fret. And you got the dot right here on the side, okay? Do that twice. So, here we go again. We're not going to do it too fast. I'm sure you guys can all do this fast. Okay, especially my fifth grade youth players. You guys will, will you guys will get this really quick, okay? So, play it twice. Then add the pinky. There you go. That's the first part. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. Bum, bum, pinky, bum. Bum. Good. Now let's do it more fluidly. Okay, we're not going to stop. We're going to go. Ba, 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 ba. We're just going to go back and forth for a little bit. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Bum, 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 bum. No pinky. Pinky. No pinky. Pinky. No pinky. Pinky. All right, cool. The next part is we're going to move our fingers down to the second fret and the third fret. Before you do that, though, don't move your fingers. Don't move your fingers. All right. Keep your fingers frozen. I say this with guitar players all the time. Just move your hand. See that? Oh, my goodness. It's witchcraft. My fingers stay where, they, where I need them to be, and I'm just moving my hand. Okay? So we're going from the fourth and the fifth to the second and the third fret. Cool? So... Let's start over. We're going to do the no pinky pinky, and then we're going to slide it down. Our whole hand, don't spider walk it down there, okay? Just slide your hand down, all right? And while I'm sliding it down, I'm not pushing on the neck. I'm releasing the tension. Now my fingers are just touching the strings. They're not pushing down on the strings while I slide it up. It makes things easier, okay? So here we go. One, two, ready, go. No pinky. Pinky. Now slide. You want to play it? Play it. That's fine, okay? That's all. We just want to work on this transition right now. I'm going to slide. You want to play it? Go for it. It's the same thing. We're doing the same exact thing at the second and the third fret as we were at the fourth and the fifth fret. Okay? So from the second and the third fret, play it twice. Then you're going to add your pinky to the fifth fret. We've got our dot right here. And you're going to play that twice. Okay? All right. Play that a couple times. Okay? 
Just like a guitar, you want to put a good amount of pressure on the strings. If you're not pushing hard enough, that's what you're going to hear. Push a little bit harder until you hear the strings nice and clear. Just like that, okay? And, you know, if you're playing more than these two strings, make sure that you're not accidentally touching a string you don't want to touch. Just like guitar players and piano players, you want your fingers to be curved. Like if you're going to scratch somebody's eyeballs out, ah, okay? Curve your fingers. That way they touch only the strings that you want them to touch. All right? My thumb right here is, I have like an open grip right here. Uh, my hand is relaxed. My thumb is in the back behind the neck. That way I can give it good pressure, like as if I'm going to grab something. You know, like a, like a bird claw. Right? I'm not giving too much pressure. Just the only amount of pressure that I need, okay? Mustache. So, from the beginning, we're going to go two of these on the fourth and the fifth. Two pinkies. Then we're going to change and go to the two and the three. Then add the pinky. Okay? Let's do it together. Start from the fourth fret of the A and the fifth fret of the E. Okay, ready? One, two, ready, go. Now change. Good. All right? Eventually, you want to be able to take that faster. You want to be able to go. Okay? That's probably even a little too fast for me. All right, let's do it again. Okay, but remember, once again, your goal ultimately is to be able to go. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's do it together. One, two, not too fast. Ba ba, pinky pinky, change pinky pinky. Cool. All right. Once again, just a quick review. We're on the fourth and the fifth fret. A four, E five. And I'm adding the pinky to the seventh fret of the A string, the string closest to the ground. Okay? And I'm just going back and forth. My ring fingers are not doing anything, and I have a fret empty right here. Nothing's going to be played right there right now, okay? That's all we're doing. And then when you slide your hand down to the second and the third fret, two frets down, two frets backwards, you do the same thing. See, there's still an empty fret right here, okay? Okay, the last part of the song. Using my first finger, and I'm going to push all three of these strings down in the second fret. The A, the E, and the C string, okay? We're only going to play the two middle strings, though. We're not going to play this one. We're not going to go like this. No, we're only playing these two. All right, that's it. And we're going to play that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The two middle strings, okay? Which is your E string and your C string. Yep. Okay? That's pretty much the whole song. Now, just like the guitar part that I talked about yesterday, there's a part, the chorus, whatever you want to call it, it has a flute in it. It's flute, bass, and drums and singing, okay? So we're going to follow the guitar part, and we're not going to do anything there, okay? There is one other part that I'm going to show you, and that'll be coming up next, all right? Let's put all three parts together. So we're going to go four and five, two times, and then two pinkies. We're going to slide to two and three, two times, then two pinkies. Then we're going to bar... When I say bar, I mean I'm laying my finger across all these strings. And you don't have to do the string closest to your face. You can only bar, bar the bottom three strings, okay? And you're going to play that eight times. All right? Let's put it together. Not too fast. Da, 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 da. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Dun, dun, pinky. Change. Pinky. Now bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. When you want to get the song down, you have to keep doing that. You want to do that whole thing that we just did together three times. The fourth time is the only time it's going to be different, okay? So we're going to do the same speed. We're going to do that whole thing we just did three times, okay? Just like the song. All right, not too fast. One, two, ready, go. Bum, pinky change pinky now bar 
One, two, three, four, five, six, again. Four and five. Pinky, change. Pinky, bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, again. Go, four and five. Pinky, change. Pinky, bar. Good. If you're able to keep up, good. If not, don't get frustrated. It's okay. All right? You're just learning the song. You'll be fine. Be persistent. Don't give up. Don't quit. No quitters. Remember? You know that. All right. Keep at it. Maybe you might need to slow it down a little bit more from what we're doing. Okay? Don't worry about speed right away. Worry about playing the notes correctly. Worry about getting perfection first, then increase the speed. All right, if you need to do it slower, do it slower. There's no shame in that. You know why? Because if you can play it perfectly super slow, that's awesome. You're still playing it. You're not going, no, because then, yeah. All right, you can do it. Play the speed that you're comfortable with. When you're ready, you got that down and it's easy. Now you want to start taking it faster. And push yourself. If you play faster than the song, that's awesome. That's something that you can show off. Okay? The last part of the song. Remember I said this whole thing that we're doing right now, we're going to do it three times. The fourth time, it's a little different. All right? You're going to play the bottom three strings. You're not going to play the bottom three strings. You're going to play the two middle strings. All right? No top string, no bottom string. The two middle strings. You want to put your first finger on the E string, fifth fret, and your middle finger on the C string, this one, sixth fret. It's going to sound like that. E5, C6. And you want to play that eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to go back to that bar that we did on the second fret. Same two strings, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to do that whole thing twice. Then you have a whole song down. So once again, this fourth time, C. Ooh, I told you wrong. I'm sorry. C6. C6. Nope. Nope. Now I'm tripping. Nope. Sorry. I didn't have enough coffee today. All right. E6. E5. C6. E5. C6. E5. C6. See? I guess I'm learning now, too. No big deal. All right. I'm not perfect. I won't be perfect. Hi, Monica. Yes, I'll charge it in a minute, okay? Go over there. Okay. My youngest daughter. Close the door. All right. Back on track. All right. E5, C6. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you slide to the bar. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Let's do it together. Go over there. Thank you. All right. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now slide to the bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do it again. Five and six. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slide it down to that bar of the two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let's put it all together. All right. We're going to do that first group three times. Then we're going to go to the new part. All right. And we're going to do that twice. Here we go. So four and five on A and E. Ready? One, two, ready, go. One, two, pinky, slide, pinky, bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, again, four and five. One, pinky, slide it, pinky, bar, one, two, three, four, let's do the whole thing one more time, ready, four and five, add the pinky, 
slide, add the pinky. Now bar the second. New part, five and six, ready? Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now bar, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time, five and six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And bar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. You've now done the whole song for Vampire Weekend on the ukulele. All right. Next time we do the ukulele, I'm going to show you chords. Chords are very easy to do on ukulele, and um, a lot of them will transfer over to guitar. I know I said that in class, but maybe you just didn't hear me that day. Maybe you weren't there that day. So practice your ukulele. Make sure you play whatever speed you're comfortable playing. If you can show your family and your friends, whoever's there with you, that you can play the song slow and play it perfect, that's awesome. Go for it. The more you work at this, and all my ukulele players, you guys do really good in class. And I know you'll all work on this. All right? When you got it down, take it faster. If you have picks at home, you can use a pick on ukulele. It's fine. If not, just use your finger. All right? Just, just, just use your finger. If you want to pluck them, whatever's comfortable for you. You're the musician. You make sure you're comfortable when you play. All right. All right. Well, for the first time, we are under 30 minutes. And I'm going to stop this video in a minute. Just make sure you guys are practicing. Whatever you're playing, practice. All right. There's no excuses. You know how to practice your instrument. Whether you have music or not, if you're watching this video, you have access to the internet. And you all know that you can use YouTube to practice. So what are you waiting for? Get on it. Practice. Five minutes. Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Oh my gosh. Go over your scales. Go over your doubles. Your paradiddles. Go over a song that you play in class. Try to play a song that you know. Try to figure out how to play it on your instrument. Alright? Well, I will see you guys next time. Hope you have a good day. Take care. I miss all of you. You're all my kids. And 